This rotary table has a unique method of securing the workpiece centrally on the table, having a locating boss and a central fixing screw to secure the part. The boss is a very simple part that is made to suit the bore of the parts being held. The central securing screw can be M3, 4, 5 or 6 as best suits the part being held. I'm not adding any further narration regarding this facility as I think my comments already made and the pictures that follow will make the method obvious. The post on the table is for additional security as the machining will be attempting to turn the link anti-clockwise. I should have added a washer below the link so that the end mill could machine the link fully without contact in the table. Of course, being a mock-up it did not matter. Four slides now follow. In this next sequence, we see the table being set up to machine a curved slot, with the first task to centralise the table below the machine spindle. For this, the device seen earlier to hold a part is replaced by a centre drilled plug. For a more critical application, a dial test indicator could be used to locate the table. We now see the part to be machined being secured to the table, it being marked with the extremities of the clove slot to be made on the marking blue.
a common problem with changing tooling in the milling machine spindle is insufficient headroom. This sequence shows how by using the table stop the milling chop can be fitted without losing position. We are now back to the set position. The sequence now being to move the table back to set the grooves radius, then set the stops to line up with the markings on the workpiece, which set the ends of the groove. Here we see that when very precise settings are required, the screws in the stops can be adjusted, though this is not required this time. We can now start machining the groove. I did though make more passes than shown, but have cut part of this stage out to reduce the length of the video.